People with synesthesia experience the ordinary world in quite extraordinary ways. For some people, when they look at letters on a page, each letter might have its own distinctive colour, which either appears in the synesthete's mind eye or is perhaps projected onto the page on top of the regular text. For other synesthetes, time and the calendar, for example, or numbers are seen visuospatially as kind of an undulating landscape. And this might serve as a memory aid. So, for example, we see it in the case of Jill Price that was presented earlier. Not only has she got fantastic autobiographical memory, she perceives the years in terms of her own internal landscape of time. This is one of uh, my first case studies of synesthesia, and this is a man who tastes words. As he's listening to me speaking now, each word might have its own distinct flavour on his mouth. And this is his um, representation of the London tube map, the underground. And words for him might taste of celery or sausage meat. He grew up in Britain in the 1960s, where this was your quintessential kind of diet growing up. So he's internalised this in his synesthesia. One of the um, first case studies that points to extraordinary ability in synesthesia is this book by Luria called The Mind of a Nemonist. And this is somebody who's described as having an infinite memory, who never forgets things, who can remember sequences of abstract syllables that are presented to him and then recalls them years later, and also has phenomenal autobiographical memory as well. As well as having amazing memory, he also had various kinds of synesthesia, so numbers would elicit uh, colours. Um, the sound of somebody's voice would have both colours, tastes and touch. So he had a multiplicity of different kinds of synesthesia. And this is a case that we've already heard about who has both synesthesia and Asperger syndrome, um, high-functioning autism. So Daniel could recite pi to 20,000 decimal places, a feat which takes around five hours just to say the digits aloud. <laughs> But what he's doing when he's recalling them is also extraordinary, because for him, the digits is not just a verbal string, it's a visuospatial string that he reads off in his mind's eye. And this is his representation of the first 20 digits of pi. For him, each digit has its own particular color and its own particular texture and its own position in the sequence that he reads off as he's recollecting this sequence. 